Despite its name, the Environmental Protection Agency doesn't just exist to protect the environment, it also exists to protect you by policing against the many pollutants that are generated by modern life. But soon the EPA will be doing a little bit less to protect you and a little bit more to protect big agriculture. Atrazine is a pesticide. It's the second most common one in the United States. Half of America's corn crop is treated with it. Atrazine is banned in the European Union, and here's why. When administered to male frogs, atrazine chemically castrates them and even causes some to change their sex entirely. In humans, atrazine is an endocrine disruptor. That means it causes changes to your natural hormonal balance. For newborn boys, atrazine exposure in utero is correlated with lower birth weight, undescended testicles, and deformities to sex organs. Now, it may be that atrazine's risk is low enough and its value is high enough that we don't need to ban it. But the EPA isn't just keeping atrazine legal. It's decided to stop closely monitoring its use. Buried within a recent 60-page regulatory document, the EPA has announced it will soon end its atrazine monitoring program, which tests drinking water to make certain that atrazine levels are safe. According to the EPA, the risk is simply so low that it's not worth even checking to make sure the situation is under control. In fact, it's so low, they're allowing 50% more atrazine to enter America's waterways. Now, that's despite the fact that in 2017, the most year where the most recent data are public, 30 million Americans had measurable amounts of atrazine in their tap water. Now, according to researchers at Purdue University, a single part per billion of atrazine may be linked to low birth weights. At Evansville, Illinois, the water is already testing at 22 parts per billion. For the EPA, that's not a concern. Their concern is corn.